Have you ever wondered if what you're experiencing right now is real, or is it merely a figment of your consciousness? Let's take a moment to delve into this concept, a concept that sits at the very core of our existence, consciousness. What is it exactly? Simply put, consciousness is the state of being aware, being able to perceive and respond to our surroundings. But it's much more than that. It's our thoughts, our feelings, our experiences, our understanding of the world around us. It's the I in I think, therefore I am. It's what separates day from night, sleep from wakefulness, and most importantly, life from non-life. It's the essence of our being, the root of our identity. Typically, when we talk about consciousness, we talk about humans and animals. That's because it's easier to relate to beings that exhibit signs of awareness, beings that show a response to stimuli, beings that demonstrate emotions and intellect. Animals exhibit consciousness when they navigate their environment, when they hunt, when they play. Humans, well, we're conscious right now as we ponder the question of consciousness. But consciousness isn't just about responding to our surroundings. It's about interpreting them, understanding them, giving them meaning. It's our consciousness that turns light into vision, sound into hearing, touch into feeling. It's our consciousness that takes the raw data of our senses and translates it into the rich tapestry of our reality. So, when we talk about consciousness, we're talking about the fundamental process that shapes our understanding and interpretation of the world. It's what allows us to ask these questions, to ponder these concepts, to seek answers and understanding. It's what makes us human. But if consciousness is what shapes our reality, what does that mean for other forms of consciousness? Could there be other realities, other interpretations of the world that we're simply not aware of? Are we just one consciousness among many, each shaping a different reality? So consciousness shapes our reality. But does that mean other forms of consciousness could shape different realities? From philosophers to neuroscientists, many have tried to unravel the mystery of consciousness. Let's explore some of their theories. First up, we have dualism. This theory, championed by French philosopher René Descartes, posits that the mind and the body are two fundamentally different entities. Descartes argued that while the body is physical and interacts with the world, the mind is non-physical and is responsible for thoughts, feelings, and consciousness. This theory proposes that our consciousness is not just a byproduct of our physical brain, but a separate entity altogether. Next, we have physicalism. This theory is quite the opposite of dualism. Physicalists believe that everything, including our consciousness, is fundamentally physical. In other words, our thoughts, feelings, and experiences are all products of physical processes within our brains. This theory suggests that if we could fully understand the workings of the brain, we could fully understand consciousness. Lastly, let's delve into panpsychism. This theory is a bit out there, but it's gaining traction in some circles. Panpsychists propose that consciousness is a fundamental and ubiquitous feature of the world. That means everything, from a human to a tree, and yes, even a brick, has some form of consciousness. This doesn't mean that bricks have thoughts and feelings like we do, but rather that there's an element of conscious experience in all matter. These theories provide different perspectives on consciousness. Dualism separates the mind from the body, physicalism ties them together, and panpsychism extends consciousness to all matter. Each theory has its supporters and its critics, and each brings us a step closer to understanding this complex phenomenon. However, the truth is, consciousness remains a mystery. We've made strides in understanding the brain, but the nature of consciousness? That's still up for debate. Whether it's a product of our physical brains, a non-physical entity, or a fundamental feature of the universe, we're still figuring it out. These theories provide different perspectives, but none can definitively answer the question, what is consciousness? We've considered human consciousness, but what about non-human entities? Can a tree or a brick possess consciousness? This might sound like a question straight out of a science fiction novel, but in the realm of philosophy and cognitive science, it's a legitimate inquiry. Let's delve into a theory called panpsychism. Panpsychism, from the Greek pan meaning all and psyche meaning soul or mind, suggests that all matter, animate or inanimate, has some form of consciousness. This implies that consciousness is not exclusive to humans or even animals. Now this is not to say that a brick or a tree has thoughts and feelings in the way we understand them. Rather, it suggests that these entities experience their own form of consciousness, perhaps as a sense of being or existence, this theory doesn't claim that a tree ponders its existence or a brick contemplates its place in a wall. 
Instead, panpsychism posits that each particle of matter has a rudimentary form of consciousness, or a proto-consciousness, that could combine in complex ways to form the higher-level consciousness we see in humans. How could this be, you might ask? One view, known as constitutive panpsychism, suggests that consciousness is a fundamental feature of the universe, much like space and time. Just as these fundamental features exist everywhere, so too does consciousness. This consciousness might be incredibly simple in most forms of matter, but when matter organizes in certain ways, like in the human brain, it gives rise to the complex consciousness we're familiar with. If panpsychism holds true, it fundamentally changes how we perceive the world. It calls into question our understanding of consciousness and our place in the universe. It asks us to reconsider our perspective of what constitutes a conscious being, and it might even lead us to treat our surroundings with a newfound respect and care. After all, if consciousness is everywhere, then everything is in some sense alive. If panpsychism holds, then we must reconsider our perspective of what constitutes a conscious being. Let's take our thoughts a step further. What if the universe itself possesses consciousness? This isn't a new idea. In fact, philosophers, scientists, and spiritual leaders have been pondering this question for centuries. The notion is often referred to as panpsychism. The belief that all matter, every atom, every quark might possess an element of consciousness. Now I'm not saying your coffee mug is aware of its existence, but panpsychism suggests that at a fundamental level, all matter might have some form of consciousness. This doesn't mean it has thoughts or emotions, but rather, a basic ability to perceive and respond to its environment. Now let's consider the universe as a whole. It's a vast network of galaxies, stars, planets, and all sorts of matter and energy. If every bit of this matter has a smidgen of consciousness, could the universe itself be conscious? This is where we dive into the realm of cosmic consciousness. Some theories propose that the universe is a single, self-aware entity, with its own thought processes that are far beyond our comprehension. Imagine trying to understand the thoughts of a being that is 14 billion years old and encompasses everything that exists. This idea might sound like pure speculation, but it's grounded in a scientific principle known as emergence. Emergence is the process where smaller, simpler components come together to create something larger and more complex. A classic example is how individual neurons in our brain combine to create the emergent property of human consciousness. So, if we apply this principle to the universe, we might consider the possibility of a universal consciousness emerging from the collective consciousness of all matter. But what does this mean for us? If the universe is conscious, it suggests that we are part of a much larger, grander entity. Our individual consciousness might just be a tiny piece of a cosmic jigsaw puzzle. So, if the universe is conscious, our understanding of consciousness and reality takes on a whole new dimension. So, we've explored the question of consciousness from various angles, but do we have a definitive answer? We've delved into the nature of consciousness, a concept so integral to our lives yet so elusive. We've seen how it's defined as our awareness and perception of ourselves and the world around us. From the crispness of a morning breeze to the tang of a lemon, from the warmth of a hug to the thrill of a mystery novel, consciousness allows us to experience and navigate the rich tapestry of life. We've also poured over various theories of consciousness, each offering a unique perspective. Some propose it as a byproduct of complex computation among brain neurons, while others argue it's a fundamental part of the universe akin to space and time. Our journey then took us to the realm of non-human consciousness. Is it possible that a tree, a brick, or even the universe itself possesses a form of consciousness? While this may seem far-fetched, we've considered the intriguing possibility that consciousness may not be exclusive to humans or even animals. We've pondered over the concept of universal consciousness, the idea that all is one, and one is all. Could it be that we are part of a larger interconnected whole, that our individual consciousness is but a drop in the ocean of a grand universal consciousness? Yet despite our best efforts to understand, consciousness remains a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. It's like trying to grasp the wind or to see the air. We know it's there, we experience it every moment of our lives, but we can't quite pin it down. So where does this leave us? Perhaps instead of trying to define what consciousness is, we should focus on how it influences our reality, how it shapes our perceptions, guides our actions, and ultimately defines our existence. Consciousness remains one of the greatest mysteries of our existence. It shapes our reality, yet we can't fully grasp its nature. Perhaps the real question is not what is consciousness, 
But how does consciousness shape your reality 